out here with this stepper motor uh, that I bought. So it came with a six pin connector. Actually, it's a seven pin connector, but not all seven pins are connected there. So there's six wires coming in. Basically what that means is uh, it runs slightly different than a bipolar. Bipolar only has four wires. Good news is you can just fold these two wires off to the Ooh, side. The these black. four wires are the coil wires and I would suspect that they are in pairs. So red, blue are a pair and uh, yellow, brown are a pair. You can figure out whether they're paired or not. And uh, all you have to do is connect two of them and if the stepper motor gets harder to move uh, then that then it is for sure a pair and that's exactly the case yellow and brown make it harder to move when you put those two together so um, yeah so yellow and brown are a pair and blue and red are a pair so that's how we're going to wire this up it's the arduino board and the other what is this called the cnc shield that's on here, they have these little four pin connectors to connect the motor and I'm pointing over to uh, maybe ha, over here where this one's plugged in. So I bought online some of these guys and if you're looking for them, these are DuPont PCB uh, terminal connectors, I think is the official word for them. So you can look for DuPont PCB and you'll start to find these things and I'll probably have a video just on these and how to use them and all that fun stuff but uh, there are all kinds of combinations there are four pins two pins there's double road pins and all this other stuff but bottom line is I want to have a little bit of a modular feel to this right now for the testing phase so I bought a bunch of wires that are uh, these are male on one end, female on the other, so they'll slide into one another, and this is a single pin, but they also work with this four pin over here, so you can stack them up in here and rearrange the wires as you figure out which, what thing goes where, and you can actually pull these pins out of these connectors. We're going to cut, because uh, these ends that came on the stepper motor are different. I should say that. These are... Uh, 0.1 or a tenth of an inch apart, these pins, 0.1 inch or 2.54 millimeters apart. Uh, this is a different pitch. I think what I'm going to do is just cut these ends off the wire and then we're going to solder on uh, a wire with the, mo the terminals there, the modular bits. So on these little dudes, uh, I do save the plastic piece because you can reuse those later with new pins. So a little exacto blade, there we go, got him lifted up, pin just slides right out. So little flux on the, on the solder there and you just add a little, little layer of solder there. And we'll do the same on this one. Give both sides a little fighting chance, you know. If you're going to truly nerd out like this, um, you're going to want just a little bit of shrink wrap on there, shrink shrink tube on there. I went ahead and took apart an old laptop uh, power supply. And it's a 20 volt, actually it's 19 and some change, but we'll call it 20 volts for fun. Uh, and this will take 12 to 36 volts on the CNC shield. So we're 19 volts, it'll supply just over 3 amps total, I think it's 3.3, which is enough to run one of the stepper motors for sure. There we go, so we should have power to it now. Um, not going to hook the USB in, but we are going to power this thing up and just make sure everything is stable. So I'm doing everything to the Y, and I, I wired everything here just like it is here. So it goes red, blue, yellow, brown, and I didn't have a brown, so I used purple. And I figure uh, it's either this way or I rotate it 180 degrees. Uh, power supply is on. It's not shorting out. So that's good. And I've got all our wires here connected just like we saw. The four pin connector here. 
I'm hoping that's in the right orientation. Uh, if not, I guess we just flip it 180 and hopefully that'll be the right orientation. Got my power supply. I've got a green light on my power supply which tells me it's got power. I've got my USB. Now the one thing that I haven't seen too many people do is use a Mac. And that's what I have. Um, hopefully, I don't, I don't know the right sequence here, but we're going to give it, give it hell. I need a longer USB cord, that's for sure. Uh, so there it is, Universal G Code Sender. Um, that's the version. And up in here is our USB stuff. So that's the one right there that is the USB. Um, so the TTY, and I don't know why it's TTY, but that seems to be the USB one there. So uh, if you click that guy, um, and then open, it should, in theory, be connected. I don't know, there's little LEDs in there blinking. I don't know if that means it's connected or not. Hang on, let's, let's step back through this again. No LED flashing. Okay, so I think that's our indicator. So I'm gonna fire the program up again, maybe. So no blinky LED. Uh, we'll hit the open button back here. Blinky LED. Okay, so that's definitely, we're connected. So that's good, but there is a tab here called machine control. And I'm hoping, I don't know exactly how this works, but there's some X's and Y's, and then it has one for keyboard movement. So I'm assuming, again, haven't had this connected, I'm assuming that's these. Hopefully, if not, I won't be able to figure it out. I guess we'll just hit one and see what happens. So X plus. It's making noise. It's not moving. Maybe this is backwards. I don't want to unplug this while this is working. Um, so I'm going to shut the camera off and reconnect some things. I reconnected, unconnected, undid the USB first. There we go. Reconnected 180 degrees, ran the same thing X plus and uh, still the same kind of empty sound. Um, looking around here at my board, I'll see if I can focus you guys in, I have her hooked up to Y instead of X, so I'm assuming that's my problem. So I am going to hit the Y plus button and see what happens. Oh hey, oh hey. There we go. So Y plus and then Y minus should take it that was clockwise. Y minus. Uh, is it going to the same place? Let's see if it goes a full rotation. I'm not sure what it's doing. Looks like a full rotation. Let's see if that changes. I know there's a whole boatload of settings. It looks like it's almost a full rotation. It's not quite though. It's like 90% maybe. Let's try one more. Eh, maybe it's coming back in the same place. I don't know. I need to mark some things, but that's awesome. So, yeah. So the universal G-code sender operating the motor. That's cool as the other side of the pillow. <laughs> um, so I've got one working. I need to do the same thing to the other three. And I've got to be careful I don't overload my power supply because I believe these will draw a maximum of two amps. So, I don't know. I guess if we blow the power supply up, it's not that bad. I've got Y, Y here, A here, which should clone Y, X, and Z. I don't know how to, well, I guess I can control, I, yeah, I got them all right here. So from the keyboard, it says enable keyboard. I haven't tried this yet. I should be able to hit the arrow keys. That was X, and then X minus. Then why? They sh these both should go. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Y minus. And then I have no idea how to do the Z on the keyboard, but we'll click it. And so that's Z plus. 
z minus. I don't know that I can make them all go at the same time. I kind of feel like I want to go x1, y1, z1, and see what happens. OK. Then maybe I go x10, y10. Hey, 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 hey. And z10. Well, there we go. Uh, awesome. So they're all working. Um, that's pretty cool. Now I need to get some G code, I guess, and uh, make them do something real. All of them are working, so that pretty much kicks ass. And uh, working with the Mac, which, like I say, I haven't seen a whole lot of that going on on the internet there. So, yeah, you can do it. These are $10 stepper motors, a $30. Uh, Arduino clone and uh, CNC shield and the motor drivers. That all together cost me 30 bucks on eBay. So I've got 40 into the motors, 30 into the controller there, and then a couple bucks into all the wiring and doodads there and all the software is free. So that's what, uh, that's what we're gonna do for right now. Don't let me know.